Who needs God? That question was raised by celebrated British physicist Stephen Hawking. In his latest book, The Grand Design, he argues that science rules out any notion of God. Alistair McGrath, who holds an undergraduate degree from Oxford in chemistry and a doctorate in molecular biophysics, disagrees. He writes, My scientific colleagues in Oxford and London are puzzled by Hawking's bold declarations about God. They are, he adds, speculative interpretations of what is already a very speculative theory. Because of Hawking's overreaching, many scientists are angry with Hawking for, in the words of McGrath, risking bringing science into disrepute by overstating itself. Such audacity brings to mind God's tongue lashing of Job when he said, Where were you when I laid the earth's foundation? Tell me, if you understand. Who marked off its dimensions? Surely you know. This warning was meant not only for Job, but for the Hawkins of this world. The danger of proclaiming what they cannot know is not good for science. It brings into question its credibility. If science is hijacked for ideological purposes, warns McGrath, its public reputation can only suffer. Apparently that thought or concern has escaped Hawking, who has been compared to Einstein. As it turns out, the difference between Hawking and Einstein is much greater than one might think. For Einstein, while certainly not a Christian, was nonetheless wise enough to say such things as, Science without religion is lame. We should take care not to make the intellect our God. Whoever undertakes to set himself up as a judge of truth and knowledge is shipwrecked by the laughter of the gods. We still do not know one thousandth of one percent of what nature has revealed to us. What else has God revealed through nature and his word? This. God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe stands condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of God's one and only Son. His Son, Jesus, said, I am the way, and the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And he also said, I told you that you would die in your sins. If you do not believe that I am the one I claim to be, you will indeed die in your sins. Who needs God?